Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Good Old Gamer, and we're playing more Fallout 3. Yay! First thing we are going to do is uh, go to our data here, go to quests. And I believe last time I promised that we would go ahead and uh, continue with Moira's Wasteland Survival Guide quest, which is going to take us to Minefield. So, um, the goals in this is to travel to the playground in Minefield and bring back a landmine to Moira. I'm sure we could bring back the landmine already, but we still need to go to Minefield to get to the playground, so, yeah. And Minefield, as you'll see, is way up over here. Yes, how uh, lovely. We could go to the Moresti train yard and travel from there. I think we might, but uh, one thing we're going to do before we get started is go to settings, go to audio, and I'm going to turn down the effects even more because gunshots are still loud as all heck. Hopefully, they're not quite as loud now. So, let's see. Make sure we what we got on. Uh, we could put our armor on. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. <laughs> let's uh, get our recon armor on. So we're ready to go. Let's get our gun out. Let's uh, hide here. Let's get our, our sneak thing. And then let's... Uh, uh, go ahead and travel to Moresti Train Yard, and from there we'll travel to Minefield. Or you could also, at this point, go to like the Antagonizer's Lair and travel this way. I'm sure it's about the same distance, roughly, but uh, yeah, we'll go over here, sure. And we'll just make our way over to Minefield. Should be some good exploration. Should be able to level up in this set of videos, hopefully. We're not too far from level 13. Especially since there's mole rats right here. guys. I think I am. It's looking like it. Yep, I got the Lincoln repeater out. <laughs> that was such a waste of bullets, but it killed him quick, so. And I'm seeing a friendly over here somewhere. Is that that wastelander still, I wonder? Hello. Hello. Let me be blunt. Go away. Jesus, you really can't take a hint, can you? How about you just mind your own business, okay? I don't know you, you don't know me. Let's keep it that way. What are you doing out here? Let me be blunt. Fine. Go away. I'm going, I don't know. Why would you spawn in a wastelander like that for nothing? Seems a bit retarded just to get attacked by mole rats, apparently. I bet if we'd have stumbled over here, the situation would have been where she'd been attacked by more rats and we'd have had to save her again, but, uh... Apparently we stopped that from happening, so... Where am I going? I need to be going in this direction. Because apparently this is where Minefield is. So, yay for getting distracted. So, I hope I'm going the right way. It looks like we're going to have to somehow get up over this. That looks like that's going to be fun. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, I uh, should tell you guys, the last set of videos, I managed to get to video 200, as I'm sure you've seen of my Let's Play of Fallout 3. That fills out the fair the first playlist for the videos so this will be the start of a new playlist section section two of my let's play of fallout 3 and with that uh unexpected but happy uh notice i am going to uh hello raider i am going to uh go ahead and render these videos out at the uh, 15 minute mark 
give or take. Um, instead of the original 10 or 11 minutes I've been going on. Uh, so we can fit more footage in. Um, so yeah, we'll test out the 15 minute limit, I guess. Sneak attack! That's always handy. Any other raiders? I can't believe there's only one raider. Uh, anyways, it's not really going to be a big deal, I guess, because my sets of videos aren't hopefully going to be any longer. But because we're going to the 15-minute mark, uh, it'll there'll be fewer videos per set, but they'll be longer ones. So uh, if nothing else, we can fit more videos, or more, I shouldn't say more videos, more footage in this second playlist. Fallout 3 than uh, in the first one because we'll have an extra five minutes per video so yeah be four videos per hour um, six per hour and a half instead of the six per hour and eight or whatever per hour and a half so yeah actually wouldn't be eight for an hour and a half it'd be like ten <laughs> anyways Yay for math fail. Uh oh, there's an enemy over here. Protectron! And we're not going to be able to hit him. Nope. Fail. Yay, we killed him. There's another enemy somewhere. Oh, another Protectron. How awesome. Oh, we killed him in one hit. That was great. Yes, I know I'm kind of randomly exploring as I'm making my way to Minefield, but that is also the plan. We may or may not get the quest done at Minefield. I don't know. Hopefully we do, but um, my goal in this set of videos is just to make it to Minefield, to be honest. But if we do make it there, it's not going to take us very long to uh, get this set of videos done either. Um, I mean, to get the quest done is what I should say. Because we only have to make it to, uh, the playground in Minefield and, and, uh, grab us a landmine from there. Wouldn't surprise me if we already have a landmine in our inventory that we could just hand to, uh, Moira, but... The challenge in getting to the, um to the playground in Minefield is twofold. First, the playground's in the uh, middle of Minefield, and in order to get to the, m to the uh, playground, we have to go through the middle of town. We have to get to the middle of town. Well, it's called Minefield for a reason. There's all kinds of mines, and they aren't always easy to spot, so that'll, uh, that'll be the first problem, is getting through without um, the mines killing us. And the second issue will be that there's someone in minefield, a sniper guy that we're going to have to deal with, um, who's going to try and keep us from getting to the playground, so, yeah. That right there would be the entomologist perk kicking in. Uh, I've described it before, but it deals with giving 50% more damage per hit to uh, rad scorpions and ants that other sorts of vermin. So that would be one reason why we were so effective against this rad scorpion here. Um, it doesn't help with accuracy as far as I'm aware, but hits that actually land get like... 50% more damage than normal, so it makes the hits that do, the shots that do land uh, even more useful. Please say my game didn't freeze. 
Wow, that was close. I'll be right back. Alright, hopefully I'm back. Um, my game didn't freeze, but uh, I think it was thinking about it for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully it doesn't. Um, I guess the strategy I could give for arriving at minefield is you want to stay on high ground. You want I think there's like a it's kind of like in a valley sort of. There's a uh, ring of hills or whatever that goes around it at least partially. And you and you want to stay up on those hills. At least until you take care of the sniper guy that's there. Um, once you take care of him, you can go down into the uh, town, of course, but just beware of the mines. It's very helpful to go to minefield after level 16 when you've got the uh, light step perk, because you'll no longer set off mines at all. But. Um, and that's what I've actually been waiting on. That's why I haven't actually continued to go to minefield here. But uh, I finally just gave up on that idea. And we'll go there anyway. Deal with the mines as we're supposed to, I suppose. But this quest is probably the biggest... Um, I'm it's the most useful quest for that perk, Light Step. It'll be the most handy if you'd have it during this quest, so... If you don't like dealing with mines, like I don't, I hate dealing with mines... Um, wait to do this until you get the light step perk. Because it'll make your life a whole lot easier in Minefield. But anyways, I'm just... Rambling now, I guess. I think we're getting fairly close to minefield now. I think those houses down there are uh, the beginnings of the minefield buildings, which is why I'm staying up here on the hill, like I said. Plus, if you stay up here, it's less likely that the sniper will see you, at least until you try and shoot him. Um, I'm hoping, to be honest, that uh, I can hit the sniper from a great distance away <laughs> in the first one or two shots because oh look a Yaogwai and a Robobrain because if the sniper does get time to see me that's gonna suck for me because he's a really good sniper and killed a Yaogwai hope he killed the Robobrain I think he did I just really hope our small gun skill is enough to uh, help us hit the sniper sniper guy. I for oh, he didn't kill the Robo Brain. Stupid Yaogwai, you should have done your job. Sniper guy does have a name, I forget what it is, but we'll uh, hopefully be able to check it out when we loot his corpse. <laughs> and there's actually good reason to go to his little hideout area. Um, not only to loot his corpse, because his corpse carries a key for various houses in Minefield, but to... Uh oh, hello scavenger! Let's go sell stuff to you. Back off. Find your own robot to salvage. Okay, fine, I won't salvage it. 